Hello you guys, I hope your Ramadan has been going wonderfully. This is week three, it is actually Tuesday today and we are at the Rose Garden. We wanted to come here, or I wanted to come here to film a cute little TikTok. Plus we went to let Elena play. She's been running all over the place here and having so much fun. There's this nice little fountain back here that she's just, we've probably spent like 20 minutes over there. We're just chasing her around, making sure that she doesn't get stuck by rose thorns. Okay, she's okay. Yeah. No, don't run on this one on the grass, right? Grass, 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 grass. Oh, can I smell it? Oh, can I see? Yes. Mm, yes. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. We are now at my mother-in-law's house. We're gonna eat dinner here tonight, but I had to show you guys. This is grandma house goals over here. <laughs> she has a whole like blow-up bounce house for babies. And Elena loves it. <laughs> Elena, do you have mint? Can I smell it? Can I smell it? I don't know where she got that mint. <laughs> that we've gone to to look at materials for um, the house. But we're just trying to shop around and make sure that we're getting like the best price and just seeing what's out there. But I love doing this kind of stuff. Omar, how do you feel about these meetings? Oh, I love going to three different places for the same thing. <laughs> no, but I agree, you do have to shop around, so I, well, I don't mind it. Anyways, I thought I would just take you guys along. Um, it's just kind of a regular work day today, except we had this meeting in the middle of the day. It's like 1.30 right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's also the last 10 days of Ramadan. Is, Is it? Today? I think that starts, oh yeah, I think or that tomorrow. does start today. Wow. Hello you guys, happy Sunday. I have not gotten to vlog this week as much as I wanted to. And then yesterday, <clears throat> I was just hanging out with Elena all day and she was actually really fussy. So it was just a very hard day for me and her. Anyways, today is a new day. She's in a much better mood. She's in the back, back there and we are about to go run some errands and then we're gonna go to my parents. You guys probably know this, but she goes to either my mom or Omar's mom every day during the week and she's so used to getting ready and going somewhere in the mornings and so yesterday she was pretty stir crazy because I like had to do some housework and we just stayed home most of the day so today I fed her some oatmeal and then I had to give her a bath got her ready and then usually Omar takes her to my mom or his mom's in the morning so then she goes Baba go she's like I'm ready I'm ready to go <laughs> like let's go and I was like, oh my gosh, we're not planning on going anywhere, but I did need to run some errands So I'm gonna take her and then I don't even know if my mom and dad and them are awake go. yet She said go. We're gonna go mommy. It's like I think 11. Yeah 11 o'clock and they've been like having very slow mornings, especially on weekends. So I'm gonna give them some time to like get out of bed. I'm actually gonna be doing something really fun. Well, I think it's fun. So you guys know Elena loves picking mint at my mom's house. Well, we don't have anything in our backyard, like no flowers, no landscape, no nothing. But I thought it would be fun to like maybe plant a little herb garden just on my patio in some pots. So I'm gonna go to, I don't know if I'm going to like Lowe's or Home Depot or just somewhere like that to see what kind of herbs they have and some kind of planter. But I am gonna be trying to like make my back patio just a little bit more enjoyable. This is our last summer 
like at our house and I don't want to like spend too much money but I want to get like a couple chairs maybe plant some potted plants and just like clean it off back there so we can really enjoy it because at night we do get some shade back there and it would be nice to like let Elena run around and then have me and Omar sit out there so yeah that's what I'm planning back there but anyways let's go ahead run some errands and I'll just take you with me today found some beautiful pots. I just have to figure out how much they are, but those are really nice. Y'all, taking a yeah. with me was literally the worst idea. She's already picked half the mint. I haven't even left the store yet. And she's trying to pick all the flowers too. So, we have got to move. You want, flower. You want a flower, Lily? Oh, very nice. Are you deciding to get these? Could. Yeah. I don't know, now that I'm looking at them, they kind of look like weeds. What, but the plants? Well, what no, kind this of, flower. What is, what kind of flower is that? They're called cat's pajamas, actually. Cat's pajamas? Yeah, but I thought they looked good with the lavender. I got lavender. And where are the herbs? Oh, there's I just got rosemary. mint, okay. yeah, and rosemary. You think this is big enough? Well, I have a few more pots I'm waiting on oh. for the other flowers and, and the rosemary. So this is just for mint, actually. Elena was saying, go see dough the whole time we were at the plant place because she thought we were going to see this house. Well, you did tell her that we were <laughs> I know, well, there, well so. we're gonna go, we're gonna go. She's enjoying some cheddar bunnies right now. She's okay right now. Elena's Eid gift arrived. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. I'll probably unbox this and show you guys obviously giving it to her in the next vlog, but if you guys are looking for a really dope toddler Eid gift, I'll link this below. It's from Amazon. Since I talked to you guys last, I dropped off Elena at, well, actually didn't drop her off. I went and like rocked her to sleep. She's still taking a nap at my parents' house, but my mom was like, just let her nap here and go get your stuff done because I have so much housework that Elena did not let me get to do yesterday. So I have started the laundry. I'm almost done with that. I also put new sheets on the bed. So that was an accomplishment. And then I want to show you guys kind of like my progress with the outside for the patio. Here is our back patio. And as you can see, nothing special right now, but I am planning to hopefully put like a rug out here, two really nice chairs for Omar and I to sit in with a little coffee table in the middle. We do have some furniture back there. We actually t took some of my parents' extra <laughs> furniture, which is really nice. So when we have guests over, sometimes we'll sit up here with a little fire pit. I just wanted to make it really cute out here, basically, because we like to like watch Elena run around out here. These are my plants that I just got. I'm waiting on some pots to come in to put those in. Here is where my little mint garden will be. And I know that mint kind of gets overgrown a little bit, but maybe I will, I don't know. Once it starts overgrowing, I don't know if I'll just replant it or just cut it down. If you guys have followed me for a while, you probably know I don't have the biggest green thumb and I've killed many plants, so. We'll see how this goes. Another thing I did while Elena has been napping is I took the leaf blower and I like blew all of the spider webs and dust and just kind of cleaned this off as much as I could because I'm gonna try to start getting this all ready here soon. I'm gonna run to the grocery store because we're out of things for suhoor and I have to have like a full suhoor. I make avocado toast and eggs and I drink so much water every single suhoor. Are you guys like that where you have to have like a full meal or do you just drink water? Omar's the type that really doesn't have an appetite and he just drinks water but I'm trying to tell him that like I cannot skip suhoor or else I am like miserable by the end of the day. Like I literally can't make it. It makes such a huge difference for me. So if you guys are feeling that way and you don't eat suhoor, I would totally recommend it. Plus it's sunnah. And since I've been trying to tell Omar to eat suhoor, he said that he would eat overnight oats. So I'm gonna try to make overnight oats. I've been really bad. I haven't really pre-made anything easy for us to eat for suhoor. So I'm gonna do that and see if he can get some suhoor in him. I feel like I've said suhoor like 50 times just in the past two minutes. Also, I wanted to chat with you guys about our Eid plans. So we are planning a really cute picnic setup 
at my parents house this year we honestly just thought it would make really cute content but we're also just excited because this local company is doing a big charcuterie board and a, like another one is doing like this picnic setup with balloons and it's just gonna be so cute you you guys also saw Elena's Eid gift I'm so excited to give it to her it's like a little Mercedes car for toddlers and it's on a remote control and it's gonna be so adorable <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna even like it or if she's gonna be scared because she's not even really too yet so we'll see how she likes it she doesn't really get the concept of gifts yet so this is mainly just for fun I feel like next year I'll be even more so trying to make Ramadan super special for her I didn't really do anything different this year just because she's still really not at the age where she can really understand what's going on yet you know but I think next year maybe I'll do like an advent calendar every day and I don't know. Sorry, my battery died. Um, but you guys are going to have to let me know what you guys do for your kids to make Ramadan and Eid special because I'm new to this and I feel like next year I'm going to try to do a little bit more for Elena. After like the first day of Eid, we're actually going on our annual family vacation on the second day of Eid, which you guys probably know where we're going because we go there probably at least twice a year we're going to Cabo it's just so convenient and so easy and we just love it so much we're going back there we're renting a house and all of us are just gonna hang out and it's gonna be really fun so I'll take you guys along that trip as well I've also been shopping a lot recently for that trip and I've gotten like a couple more pieces I'm trying to get away from like ordering a whole new wardrobe every time that I travel just because it's not sustainable for me even though I like to give you guys like lots of ideas I probably will be re-wearing a lot of like the clothes that I already own and then I have like I think two new dresses that I have to share with y'all I have found a lot of good Amazon finds recently especially for Elena like little baby swimsuits and like just so many good things so I'll definitely make sure to share all of that stuff when I'm packing in the next video also do you guys have your Eid outfits yet I shared a bunch of Eid outfits in my last video and I still don't know exactly what I'm wearing <laughs> oh so hard okay let's go so do you guys remember whenever I said I gave her a bath this morning <laughs> well I think I might have missed it but it just rained and there's all these puddles here and she's just splashing away. No shoes, she kicked those off. <laughs> Is that fun? Oh. Oops, splashing. My parents made kofta with two different sauces. This has tahini sauce and this has tomato sauce. Cilantro garlic chicken with potatoes and saffron rice. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Elena got a bath. And now yes. she's breaking her fast with dates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, it is Tuesday today, which means we're technically in the fourth week of Ramadan, which means we're in the last 10 blessed nights of the month. So I wanted to quickly just mention the charity again, in case you guys are interested in helping to donate to Syria. So currently there are thousands of Syrian families living in tents and we're helping to build a village for them so we can move these families out of their tents and into homes so that these little babies can be protected against the cold winter months and i'm just super happy because let me check um what we're at right now mashallah we have raised sixty-one thousand dollars this month and our goal now is 65k let's try to get there by the end of ramadan every little bit helps so our plans for the next week's vlog i'm thinking i'm going to mix a little bit of ramadan like the end of ramadan and then do a little bit of Eid since we don't have, I guess, that many days left. Plus, we're leaving for Cabo quickly after Ramadan ends. So, I think the next vlog is just going to be like a combo end of Ramadan slash Eid vlog. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your Ramadan, inshallah. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.